Hi guys, this is Amy Love from Real Food Whole Health and today we're going to be making a really easy homemade deodorant. You need three ingredients. First, baking soda, arrowroot powder or GMO free cornstarch, also organic cornstarch, and coconut oil. I sometimes will use an essential oil and I'm going to be using grapefruit oil today. Um, this has some natural antibacterial properties and it's kind of like a natural preservative. Um, so I'm going to use that. You're going to have to have a glass bowl, um, some kind of non-reactive bowl, um, a spoon, a container to put your finished deodorant in, and it would be good if that had a lid. So um, first we're going to pour equal parts of the baking soda and the arrowroot powder together. Again, you could use GMO-free uh, cornstarch. Give that a little stir to combine. And then we're going to add some coconut oil. And you just want to add enough coconut oil to moisten it. So I'm going to start with about half of the amount and stir that together. Um, you just want it to come together and kind of form a paste. So I'll keep adding coconut oil um, and mixing it slowly until it starts to come together. You'll see that it forms a paste here. So um, we're just about to the right consistency. And it's, it's kind of amazing. Um, how much of the powder the coconut oil absor absorbs. So just add a little at a time. Um, and, and I'm going to add a little of my essential oil, just a couple of drops. And again, you could add enough for fragrance. This really is not going to be noticeable. It's just going to be in there to be a little bit of a, a further antibacterial um, ingredient. So I'm just going to stir that in. This is a very effective um, homemade deodorant. It works great on men and women. Um, it's non-toxic, you know, natural ingredients. It, it really, really helps keep you dry, and there really is no scent, so that's fantastic. Um, and then it's very cost-effective as well, so you can just scoop it um, here into the container. And um, coconut oil does melt. Um, at a relatively high temperature, so I mean a relatively low temperature, so you could keep this in the refrigerator, but then it's going to be pretty hard to scoop out. So if your house is higher than about 78 degrees um, naturally, you're going to want to um, maybe put this in the fridge and take it out the night before or something like that. But um, it's always been fine in my house and never melted, and I even travel with it. So there you go. That's homemade deodorant. Enjoy.